Hi, this is a chord example problem from the AMC, so let's see what we have. In triangle ABC, we have length AB of 7, AC of 8, BC of 9. Point D is on the circumscribed circle of the triangle, so that AD bisects angle BAC. What is the value of the ratio AD to CD? Okay, so this is another question where a careful drawing will probably help us, so uh, let's try to do that. Now, when trying to draw triangles with circumscribed circles, I generally try to start with a good circle and draw my triangle inside of it instead of the other way around and that usually works out pretty well for me. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Now we have a triangle with roughly three equal lengths so let's draw the middle length first to get us started. So the middle length would be roughly about this for side AC and then uh, AB would be slightly smaller than AC so let's draw that in roughly here and then AC of course would be slightly larger than AC and that looks about right so AB of length 7 BC of length 9 and AC of length 8 now we have point B or point D excuse me on the circle such that AD bisects angle BAC. So let's just eyeball that and draw that in. So we have the angle bisector AD roughly as shown, which then forms side AD. Great. Now since we have all these chords inside of an inscribed circle, we can now use the chord angle theorem since uh, angles that subtend the same arc are equal, we know that angle ABC is equal to angle ADC, so that should be helpful. Now it looks like we're trying to find the ratio of AD over CD, so CD, or excuse me, AD over CD, and we notice that we, since we have two pairs of equal angles, we probably have some similar triangles lurking in this figure. And if we look at this figure a little more carefully, we do notice that triangle ACD is similar to triangle AEB. And that makes things a little bit easier now, because instead of trying to find the ratio of AD to DC, we could just as easily find the ratio of AB to BE. And that looks a little bit easier to find. Because we already know the length of AB, and we know that uh, BE is part of an angle bisector side BC. And so by the angle bisector theorem, we know that BE is to EC as 7 is to 8. And we also know that the sum of BE plus EC is equal to 9. And that seems like enough information to solve for BE, so let's try to go ahead and do that. So let's call BE a side of length X, EC of length Y. So we know that X plus Y is equal to the total length, 9. We also know that X is to Y as 7 is to 8. Cross multiply, 8X is equal to 7Y. And from the first equation, we know that y is equal to 9 minus x. We can substitute that in. And solve this equation now to find that x is equal to, what does that work out to? 15 over here. 7 times 9 is 63. x is equal to 63 over 15. Dividing top and bottom by 3, that uh, reduces to 21 over 5. So now we can pretty quickly figure out this uh, ratio because we have AB of side length 7. We have uh, BE of 21 over 5. So that works out to 5 thirds, and that's choice B. Again, a pretty simple problem if you follow the uh, chord angle theorem and the angle bisector theorem. So hope that helped, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.